So now we have exercise here. Complete the figure below to show the fractions of the wave. Uh, so this is an obstacle, huh? obstacles. So when we draw the diffracted lights, uh, you need to know that after passes through after passes through the obstacles, uh, it will spread. So we we draw the guideline. This is just a guide, uh. This is just a guide. So uh, then we draw the wave front. Make sure that uh, the the wave length is more or less the same. And then at the end here we have a small curve. Uh. Okay, after they join together. So that is how we draw the wave fronts uh, of the diffracted wave. Uh, first, of course, you need to know the patterns. Uh. Uh, a lot of students, a lot of students, they will draw something like this. Okay, they will draw something like this. They will say, okay, diffracted wave, something like this. Now, this is not correct. For obstacles, uh, this is not correct. So uh, draw the guide for the sp spreadings of the wave first. Uh, then only you draw the wave fronts diagram and make sure that the wavelength okay the wavelengths of the wave here is more or less the same eh, from here actually, actually this one actually is too long already yeah the wavelength is too long already so the wavelength should be here and uh, then the wavelength is uh, more or less the same as the wavelength here and let's see another two examples okay so let's say your teacher gave you this one with a uh, small openings one with a big openings okay so the first thing you check okay the size of the opening for this one is uh more or less the same S same size as this one and i told you just now if the size if their size is about the same uh then uh, your patterns uh, will be a curve uh, the wave front will be a curve okay so let's draw the guide first okay and this one will, will spread to a very wide angle uh, so let's draw the guide so this is the guide, okay. After that, we draw a curve. So this is a diffracted wave. Eh? So you must check the size of the opening eh, to see whether it is uh, to, to compare to the wavelength. If they are more or less the same, then is a curve okay this one the size is much bigger than the wavelengths your teacher usually they won't give you something which uh, in the middle so they, they will either give you a very small or very big one so if the size of the opening is very big then angles of the diffractions will be small okay be something like this You don't need to be very, very accurate, okay? Uh, if the size of the opening is more or less the same as this one, then this one, the, the guide uh, is very close to the, 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 the obstacle here. If uh, the size of the opening is very big, compare, compa actually, you need to compare to the uh, wavelength, uh, okay? Compare to the wavelength. If the size of the opening is very big, the wavelength is also very big, okay? Uh, then still, you will get a curve. Uh. You will still get a curve. So you must compare to the uh, wavelength. You must compare to the wavelength. Eh? If uh, the size is almost the same, then this 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 uh, you can draw uh, very very close to the obstacle here. You can even draw until here. Okay, you will, you can even draw your guide here. Also can. Okay, it will spread to a really wide angle. Eh? Okay, now for this one, uh, we have the guide, okay? And then we know that uh, this, this one, after passes through, okay? It will spread, but uh, the wave uh, will be a straight line. It will be a plain wave. And then we have a small curve, small curve at both sides. And make sure that the wavelength is about the same as this one. Okay, actually what I draw actually, it looks like the wave, 
the waveform is too big already. It's a very famous question in the exam. Usually, I uh, I believe that uh, okay, the first test or the first first exam, uh, this will come up. Okay, exercise. Uh, figure above shows the patterns of the light from form on a screen when an orange monochromatic light passes through a narrow slit. You see, this question it does not tell you about us. Uh, it does, does not tell you that this is diffractions. Eh? It doesn't tell you that this is diffractions. Eh? But you see the single slit. Eh? You need to know that single slit experiment is related to diffractions. Single slit experiments. Eh? Or you can see the patterns. The patterns. Eh? Okay. Uh, this is the patterns for uh, diffracted light. Patterns of diffracted lights. Eh? Uh, we, we identify from the patterns and from the slit here. Wavelength, wavelength is the distance between the wavefront. So this is called wavelength. Wavelength. So this wavelength, this one, the size, uh, the wavelength, the distance between this line must be the same as this one, or almost the same. You don't need to be exactly the same. Or you can use your ruler. To measure, okay. Let's say from here to here is one cm, and then so then you can draw here one here to here one cm, here to here one cm. Okay, that's called the wavelength. Eh? Okay, let's come back to these questions. Eh? So, um, so we have a monochromatic light, orange light passes through a single slit, and then it's spread to a wider area. Then we get these patterns of diffractions. Eh? Uh, the question doesn't mention this is diffractions, eh? so you need to identify. You need to identify it through the single slit and through the patterns. Eh? Let's see the first question. What is meant by a monochromatic light? That is a light with one color or one wavelength. Light with one color or one wavelength. Eh? Light with only one color or one wavelength. Name the phenomenon that cause the formations of the patterns of light. I think this one should be no problems, right? So what's the, what's the name of the phenomenon? Di diffractions. That's correct. Diffractions, eh? uh, so the answer is diffractions. A student would like to modify the apparatus setup to obtain a pattern with greater distance between the bands of light. Give three suggestions to him on what he should do to the apparatus setup. He want to make the band eh, become uh, this one. Okay, he want to make the distance between the band become bigger. How to make the band become bigger? Increase the distance between the screen and the slit. Eh? You must tell the size of the slit should be big or small, and what's the colors of the light that you should use. How to make the band bigger? This one. This is the band. Okay. How to make uh, the band, the size of the band, become bigger? So uh, let me give you the answer. So we use uh, slits of smaller size, eh? smaller size, smaller slit, okay. And then we use red light. We use red light. Why? Eh? Why we use red? Uh, because the colors of the rainbow is from red. What? The second one? What was the second colors of rainbow? What's the second colors? Orange. After that, uh, yellow first, right? Yellow, green blue indigo and uh purple or violets eh? violets or purple uh which one has the longest wavelength which one has the longest wavelength r o y g b i o v longest wavelength r yes okay this one has longest wavelength this one is shorter sir eh? Shortest wavelength. If you want to increase the size of the band eh, or the greater distance between the bands, eh, you should use longer wavelength. So orange, the the light eh, which have longer wavelength compared to orange eh, is red. Because you want to have a greater distance between the band, you must use longer wavelength. And red. The, the, the wavelength of red light is longer than orange. So you must use red light. Use red light. Uh, the last one. 
is increase the distance between the slit and the screen. Okay, so that's all for uh, diffractions of waivers. Huh?